Well, hello again, folks. Uh, f uh, says I'm Leaf. Uh, should have lied. Uh, f uh, yeah. Uh, f uh, so another stream today. Uh, f uh, I don't know if a lot of people know about it. Uh, f uh, but there is also a Telegram channel and a bunch of people who are hanging out. Who are hanging out uh, f uh, as a part of a community of this channel. Uh, f uh, and uh, uh, back in the day, we used to do a lot of stuff uh, related to uh, looking at the indie developers game, uh, f uh, just firing them up, uh, f uh, showing some of the gameplay, looking at the pitches, and basically using this as an opportunity to give a couple of game development advice and talk about related subjects to the genre and the market and so on. And uh, f uh, I have decided to renew this practice. Uh, f uh, not in the form of as we used to do that Sunday reviews uh, because it used to be uh, like Sunday we will get there for a few hours and look at five games and talk about them continuously uh, but the streams will take a couple of hours which I think uh, a little bit too much so I have decided to start taking more applications you know call it applications uh, or just inquiries in my email and look at the games individually, dedicating streams to one game specifically. Uh, f, uh, today it's gonna be uh, pain to win. Uh, f, uh, I'll switch to. Um, let me get this OBS. I'll switch to the stream and we'll be presenting. Uh, f, uh, uh, the game Steam page, we'll talk a little bit about the team about the consistency of the package that has been sent to me on the email, a couple of advices on materials, uh, f, uh, a little bit on the gameplay and on the potential road to market. I made a couple of notes, uh, f, uh, which I would be following. Now, first of all, let's talk about uh, the team in the game. Uh, f, uh, the, the game called Pain to Win. It's a top-down uh, action shooter filled with uh, many clowns, severed limbs, level of destruction, ricochet shots, explosive weaponry, the cutting uh, flesh disc soul set in a dark and gritty new world, as description says. Uh, it has Steam page. Uh, Steam page is well prepared. It has video. It has screenshots. Of, uh, it has demo. It has video. Uh, that's great. Uh, there are some comments over here. Uh, regular demo updates. Uh, link to the Discord. Some work has been done around it. You can see that. Uh, f, uh, everything is filled out. Uh, this is good. My first comment here would be uh, on the name of the game. Uh, f, uh, personally, I think it can be as much as very good as than much very bad in some circumstances. I think it's a great name for the company. Uh, I think it's definitive from the point of view of what type of entertainment studio produces. I'm talking about the studio. Uh, f, uh, the, the materials has been sent by Yuri K. Uh, f, uh, he's working uh, f, uh, in Kyiv remotely with a team of uh, occasionally four people uh, and have spent the previous year and the beginning of this year for the preparation of the vertical slice uh, f, uh, demo and uh, well the guy's been working in the game uh, f, uh, and they've been doing this quite successfully but on the name again I think that the paint to win uh, f, uh, is good because it's descriptive but at the same time it's not really telling anything about the game and if you would want to develop this, the more than one title, uh, f, uh, and you would want to develop the world, and I know because I've watched 3D materials, the world is an important part of that, uh, f, uh, you might get the dissociation issue uh, f, uh, because of lack of the description of the game title. Uh, again, it can be a very good name because uh, it's a bit of a conjuncture field at this point, uh, f, uh, it's a it's a cool take on pay to win, you know, and uh, f, uh, uh, just pain being a uh, game being hardcore. Uh, but again, I'm just marking this up that may be an issue, uh, maybe not. Uh, f, uh, that's something to mention 100%. Now, talking about the package and the consistency of the vertical slice, uh, I think that the job being well done. Uh, f, uh, I've been sent a presentation, a uh, number of videos of the gameplay, demos available. Uh, there is a 12-minute video for, for in a 60 FPS of uh, showing the first 15 minutes of the gameplay. There are a couple of things to talk about um, how exactly it's done from the structure, where a couple of advices will go to. Uh, f, uh, but overall, 
it leaves a very good impression. Uh, feature sets good, game loop is not very clear from the video materials, but clear from the presentation. Uh, uh, so generally in this front, it's well done. Uh, uh, team and, and Yuri and uh, guys in general prepared well. Now, uh, f uh, let's start watching it, uh, f uh, the actual game. Uh, f uh, we'll go through the first three videos, which are highlights. It's a short minute and a half, two minutes. Good format, by the way. Good choice of the time frame uh, f uh, to show what the game is. And then, uh, f uh, and while this video will happen, I will occasionally mark some of the elements of it. You guys can familiarize with it, you know, you can build your opinion. Uh, f uh, and uh, once we get to the 12 minute video, I will actually mark some of the moments related to the gameplay, production quality of some of the elements and some of the points that can be improved. And in the first three videos, I want to talk a little bit about the market and opportunity for the game as well, because I think it would be useful. So. Uh, f uh, I don't know if you hear the sound, uh, f uh, because I, I have the new microphone and once I get the microphone on and don't have the headphones, I don't hear anything, so probably need to get new headphones as well, uh, f uh, but I hope you are, uh, f uh, and uh, f uh, while well, the game's running, uh, f uh, you can obviously see that there is an influence of the uh, Miami hotline, uh, which I think is a good reference, uh, f uh, because not a lot of games being done in that genre recently. Uh, especially in the hardcore mode, uh, f uh, and um, uh, market is not saturated at this point enough, in my opinion. The niche of the twin stick shooters is weird, in general, uh, f uh, because there is a lot of people uh, who actually are playing those games, and there are a lot of people who are trying to make these games. And while there are a lot of attempts, of uh, also being dictated because twin stick shooters used as a template for Unreal Engine and for the Unity as far as I understand. Uh, there's a lot of people who are trying to do that but they're not getting this right. I'm just taking it lazy. Now this game is a good exception. You can see a lot of work being invested in it. And uh, f uh, another reason of uh, not saturation in the market is that some of the companies that have been known for the production of the premium team stick shooters, twin stick shooters, uh, f, uh, like Arrowhead, uh, which moved with the Helldivers, you know, to f, uh, uh, f, uh, another genre, uh, f, uh, and uh, f, uh, a bunch of other studios uh, f, uh, actually progressed over the initial twin stick shooter to more sophisticated and to more complex games. Housemark is one of them as well. The studio has been infamous for producing. Of, uh, lots of very good high quality stuff supported by the first platform and then they've been making the returner of, uh, and uh, uh, other big games. So I would say that, that there is a place here that you can attack with the games of the similar genre and people would really appreciate it, especially if you keep it with the consistency of the style that this game definitely does and introducing the, some of the new elements which are of the essence. Um, you can see from the screen, uh, there's a lot of things going on at the same time. Uh, f uh, and that would be one of my comments uh, a little bit down the line when we will get to the bigger video. Uh, f uh, but one of the things that catches an eye immediately is that games takes it to the next level uh, f uh, using two elements. Uh, first of them is uh, having this chainsaw thing that allows you to break rooms and at the same time uh, f uh, thinking about the gameplay, switching between the chainsaw and melee weapon uh, puts you in a vulnerable position against uh, f uh, potential NPCs or maybe other players uh, f uh, who would use guns, right? So it's potentially a very interesting gameplay element where you need to break the wall, you need to quickly switch to something like a shotgun, you can shoot immediately to someone who is not expecting your attack. So this is great. This is also opens an opportunity for some of the game modes and some of the interesting crazy decisions like, like let's have four people playing at the same time and they would have only chainsaws and they would have like one minute of uh, and let's see who survives and maybe have some interactive elements at the arenas, uh, find that can be a form of a, 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 a quite a cheeky multiplayer maybe. So this feature is deep. It's deeper than you can think of. Uh, it's deeper than catches an eye. You can potentially completely devastate and destroy the whole area. You can make it 
uh, tactically more advantageous to some of the weapons you use and more disadvantageous for users for people other people or the npcs that 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 are using guns uh so this is very good uh another element is the ricochets uh for, and ricochets with the room so say terraforming uh for potentially two things that can be combined gameplay wise into very interesting solutions as well uh, for, uh this is two innovations to the well-established genres that immediately are again catching an eye and this is something to pay attention to the game is also a uh i know from presentation that uh, the game is based as, as you expect of uh, well you have the starting location and then at the starting location you can uh, go into the long-term meta improve your character uh, uh, get a bunch of other guns potentially improve some perks i presume uh, for, uh, and then go and kill more npcs get more scores get more uh, 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 fractional improvements that will get exponential uh, till the end of the next playing session go and kill some bosses games get some super perks and i uh, will play rogue let's you know how this works right uh, uh, uh story element of uh, uh, and this is why i paid uh so much attention to to the name of the game uh there is actually a world there are actually npcs there are actually uh, f uh things you know like and uh, f uh some of the stories unraveling and as presentation says again uh, and let me quickly check yeah, uh, uh, as the presentation says again, uh, f, uh, there is um, second. Yeah, right. There is a possibility of uh, to uh, open the world a little bit more uh, and get additional layers of lore into that, uh, and. Uh, it, I'm interested on how studio and the team is intending to unravel that because this element is not highly presented at this point and uh, I would be interested to 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 have an opportunity to understand it better now when we're going to this bigger video uh, which is 12 minutes and which is uh, a simulated first 10 15 minutes of play 12 minutes of play uh, f uh, I would like to start making some remarks on what to improve and I have like five or six uh, first of them uh, is on the art style and lighting and I feel like we're getting into uh, a very frequent comment of how to combine light contrast uh, and highly saturated with action environment to make sure nothing get lost from the point of view of UX and UI. And what I mean by that is uh, f uh, when you see the character uh, just going from room to room in this first tutorial section, which is, by the way, quite cool. The whole idea of uh, uh, like like having this uh, uh, tutorial elements with the arrows is awesome. And s for some reason calling up for the comic in my mind, you can make it a little bit more comic-like maybe and uh, f it would add another layer of uh, f uh, a representation to it but once you get into the rooms with a lot of other characters and you start to produce a lot of jibs and uh, break a lot of objects and maybe break a lot of walls there's a high risk of the characters being lost on the screen with other characters on the screen so uh, it's a very typical problem uh, it can be solved through a whole bunch of ways. I would really think about the silhouette of the character that you're using and to make it a bit different and uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, give it a little bit different color palette and maybe think about the art loud line in general uh, f uh, as a part of the interface. So you can always see your main character and you can also always identify NPCs. Now, while it might be not that much of a huge issue uh, f uh, when you play alone, when you play with, a, let's say, couch co-op or you play with a, a bunch of other characters or maybe you want to extend the game feature set and you want to have four characters here, uh, f uh, it would be extremely hard in some situations to understand who's playing with you, who's NPC, and that will affect the gameplay. 
like uh, put it as one of the game development tasks and one of the game design tasks to think about how you can also be sure like always be sure that the main characters is always seen on the screen uh, because it can get problematic and it can get problematic at the further stages of the development i also feel like a little bit of a part of this is lightning uh, for, uh, and lightning is in general done well uh, you can see uh, level design solutions with lights pattern leading you uh, for the major parts and secrets are not late and you need to look for them and the ideology is here but some of the some of the crossroads are overburned uh, for, and I, some of them are not lit enough so I would pay a little bit attention to it uh, it can be a part of the first issue as well because if your character not being distinctive enough gets into a super lit area with a lot of garbage uh, for, it will be lost immediately and uh, for, uh, this is this is uh, it's an issue in between level design and design and the general UI and the UX. So I would put attention to it. Now you cannot hear it as well, but uh, for sound is something to invest some of work as well. Uh, for the uh, it's not just set right at this point and i can understand that this is a part of a vertical slice and sound is something and music is something uh, for, uh the team would be working on uh, continuously and i'm pretty much sure that guys understand that but there is also a couple of people in the chat you can ask a good advice about those materials and they can tell you on how to how to align levels in uh, to be honest pretty aggressive music score uh, with a lot of explosion in a way it would not be irritating in general um, another thing uh, and it goes for both presentation and uh, for the game uh, uh, 2d elements and by 2d elements I mean uh, elements of the dialogues uh, elements of the uh, for interface in the upper uh, for left corner uh, I think they can be better. Uh, I think they can be more distinctive. Um, uh, some of the artwork, especially the presentation, which I've been asked not to show here for obvious reason, it contains a lot of information, might be confidential. Uh, of uh, is it's about how you put two D elements on the top of the other two D elements in a way that they not get lost, in the way that they're well distinct. In the way that when you use the type of self-made font to show these little elements where you say that they the killed or cleared or finished uh, for, to make them uh, with a bit of a more graphic fidelity and also make sure that they do not stick one to each other and always can be read and always can be uh, f uh, identified properly so that's that's an important thing um, one of the larger, not an issue, but that will be a perception element question uh, when you show game to literally anyone, uh, including streamers. And I, I, I want to say another thing here. Uh, for, uh, game is extremely friendly to streamers in general. Uh, for, uh, a lot of people will show it and they would like it. But if you're saying that your game is a rogulat, uh, you want to show this first room that you show and you just swing the blade to pick up some weapons but if this is a rogulat you want to show people immediately what's your long-term progression is uh, you can mock up this you can uh simulate it uh you can maybe use it in one of the videos and not have it being done functional uh into one of your builds but y you need to have a way to basically say that look here's this character uh, for, uh, we have his perk, his talents, weapon choice, this is locked, this is not, uh, this is like uh, this, this and this. So people will understand uh, how this system is structured. Um, I think that in Rogula genre, uh, for, uh, the perfect example of that is uh, for, at the moment, in my opinion, uh, for, well, this is a very different game in a different setting, would be for Kill the Death. Uh, right that that was the name of the game uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, for, but but when you show these things 
And if you have multiple characters and those characters are different in plants, you need to somehow show that as well. And again, I understand that this is a lot of work. I've, uh, I understand that this is something that you might not have developed at this point or incorporated, and that might be a part of the roadmap for the larger release. Uh, for, uh, but you need to somehow identify. Here's here is the starter role. Uh, just just make four NPCs uh, that will open the steps where where you can just show maybe inactively uh, how you can spend the, the the points you are making in the game uh, into improving your character uh, for, uh, on the permanent basis. I think that if 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 this is the intention, if you want to, if this is intended to be a part of the game, that has to be reflected. Because uh, otherwise, it's not explained in any other shape or form. Uh, for, uh, while presentation makes a number of examples with different games, uh, for, uh, that would presume that you would have this element. Uh, for, uh, so this is this is I guess this is important as well, and I would pay a little bit attention to it now. Talking about potential uh, road to market, uh, for, uh, I quickly went online and uh, for googled the game. Uh, for the pain to win uh, for immediately shows the first link to the Steam page, which is great. Uh, for, uh, and then it shows a number of uh, social networks where accounts has been created. And I can say you, you need to put more efforts into development of these accounts, uh, namely YouTube, uh, X, Reddit, uh, whatever else you want to use, TikTok maybe, uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, because uh, for, uh, in the most of the intensive materials that you put to the social networks uh, are gathering like 5, 6, uh, 20, 30 likes. And social networks are extremely important for such games. Uh, for, uh, and maybe I would suggest as a part of your route to try to find yourself a, a community manager. Uh, for, uh, and this is what a lot of teams missing from working uh, for, with the community early is that if you have a developed Reddit, if you have a website for the game, not just Steam page, and you have interactive ways of communicating with people who like your game and who are subscribed to your newsletter and maybe a forum people talk to, or again, Reddit, where people talk about your game and they like it, I, uh, very often uh, there would be one or two people who would basically tell you that, that they can help you. Uh, if, uh, it's a way to communicate with people early who like your game and who can really evangelize you to more places and will help you to build a more developed community. Uh, game, in some sense, uh, uh, calls for the self-publishing actually. Uh, f uh, uh, and and I would say that in comparisons with other games, uh, being a niche product, a lot of people are actually super hardcore fans too. Uh, it might be a fitable product to find angel investments. Uh, it might. You just might find someone who really likes these games and want to build a game of the kind and actually secure capital uh, for both finishing the title and to for building your own, uh, for building community and organize your own publishing services. Again, not every game is like that, but this game really calls for it. You build a community, you have your own channels, you get it through a bunch of streamers, who would most likely likely be very positive about what they see and play your game, and it will gather a lot of attention. The price segment of it uh, is also fitable for this kind of route to the market. Uh, f uh, it's a um, uh, what fifteen dollar twenty dollar title. I want to say like fourteen ninety nine. Uh, 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 so so that would make a lot of sense uh, f uh, because of the parameters of the game. And because of its state, it probably would be hard to make a deal with the conventional publisher that would actually serve the merit for the both title, your interest and the interest of the publisher. Uh, mostly because you are not looking for uh, a lot of money. Uh, for, uh, and publishers are economically structured in a way where they, uh, in most of the times, cannot get less than 50%. Uh, except some of the hybrid publishers who basically provide marketing services and they can guarantee you a little bit of the finances. Uh, so I would be looking in that direction. I would be looking into the angel money of uh, just a friend's money to help you to finish that. I would be thinking anyway to building your own community because game is looking so much in that direction. Uh, for, uh, so yeah, uh, it's, it's probably 
most of the things I have to say. Uh, uh, again, very positive. Start thinking about the f uh, platforms because uh, f game of the genre is uh, uh, technically um, uh, that's PC, uh, that's uh, all of the consoles, uh, f uh, that's Switch probably. Uh, f uh, if if not be not too violent, but I think that you can do a bit tips and tricks around the title to make it uh, f uh, uh, less less compliance dependent. Let's put it this way. Uh, f uh, and uh, f uh, I think it should be looking into the bunch of platforms. I think that the way you should be moving as well, you need to launch it at the PC, and then you need to think about how to maybe push it to the Switch. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the market now for people who's been previously using services for the Switch development titles. You can try to reach out for some of these people uh, f uh, and you can discuss a potential uh, uh, revenue share opportunity where someone will make your port for the Switch for, I don't know, 20-25% revenue uh, share on the sales of the game. Uh, f uh, that will give you another platform. Uh, and uh, again, community like it's uh, like you need to you need to work more actively in the community moreover at this stage of the game you have so much more content uh, f uh than than many people who are struggling to uh lead a, a proper community of uh, uh sustain proper community frequency of content updates of uh, uh that, that it's a leverage you should be really using of uh, uh and uh, Presuming that Discord is the major way for you to communicate with the audience, this is great, but develop it to to more, develop it to to more uh, extensive work of uh, uh, with the community channels, building more people who is interesting in the title. Uh, for, I might be of a little bit help trying to show it to a couple of people uh, for, who might be interesting to promote it. Uh, for, I will uh, again. I like the game. This is a very good start. Uh, f uh, it's it's essential to say that uh, I feel like all of my advices I've been giving people on the vertical slice and initial package preparation be 90% taken by the people who's been building this uh, f uh, and that makes me kind of happy uh, f uh, and uh, my compliments to this uh, it has a lot of potential it might be deeper than it looks initially for a lot of people uh, f uh, again do not ignore potential long-term perspectives uh, because look at the Hell Divers too. It, it used to be a twin stick shooter as well. Uh, f, uh, a lot of companies start to build their bigger universes uh, f, and the bigger franchises from the genre and then develop it to something else. Uh, f, uh, and in that sense, you want to highlight more about what the world is, what happened there, why it's so dystopian, why everyone's crazy. Uh, f, uh, and, and how, how essentially you would want to develop this universe in some sense. Uh, all right, let me switch to the YouTube in case there are some questions. Uh, f, um, where is it? Uh, here it is. Uh, f, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like, and there are a few people here, uh, nine, nine viewers. Uh, f, uh, a comment on the too much black zones on the screen. And like I said, uh, it, it feels like it's a part of the level design solution here. Uh, f, uh, where light is used to to guide the player uh, uh, through the, the general location navigation, uh, but I would definitely work at the light, and I would I would look at the concept of uh, how you how do you make a game uh, scary, uh, 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 gritty, uh, noir at the same time, making sure that all of the silhouettes and everything on the screen is readable. Uh, it's a it's a technical tech art question in between. Uh, lighting uh, silhouettes uh, for uh, using a bit of a different forms and uh, working in between the light and the contrast to achieve the same result uh, for, uh, as you as you sim in, in difference as you simply do with making things dark uh, for, uh, but uh, again it, it's one of the top five top ten classic questions uh, for, uh, for where almost literally anyone who starts to produce video games uh, they go into uh, f, uh, a horror genre. Uh, almost no one gets the light right from the from the first try. Uh, so it's normal. It's it's nothing crazy in it. Uh, f, uh, you 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 might go and read some of the information about how this problem gets solved because it's because it's so frequent and it's been solved uh, hundreds of times probably at this point. 
no, not critical. So yeah, and again, uh, uh, we're back with these reviews. Uh, uh, like how much time is this video? Half an hour, I think we would produce more of those. Uh, it's kind of simple for me. And uh, uh, again, please uh, send in more information and more information about your games. I will sporadically, uh, uh, with no real uh, schedule, just review them and hope that that will be useful. Now, on this particular example, I actually have a friend who is a super fan of such games. Of, uh, and I will send him all of the information. Maybe he can be of help of, uh, of providing a little bit more advice here uh, or maybe helping with advising someone who would be interesting to support the game development. Okay, so, yep, yeah, cool. Uh, for, uh, see you soon, guys. I don't know where. I mean, like, today is a weird day. That's the second stream I'm doing from the morning and I'm still thinking about having another one in the evening in, in Russian. Uh, for, uh, and, and maybe that would be more. I mean, like, it's just... just this type of Wednesday, I feel very energetic for some reason today, probably after a couple of days of uh, a very weird weather in the UK, where I was uh, feeling myself incapable to do anything. I was just lying on the sofa like a potato. Uh, 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 today feels much better. So, cool. Um, we'll be seeing you again. Bye.